Hi, it's David. It's been a while since I posted or did a journal or whatever. But, uh, yeah, weird stuff goes on where I live. The people that were using this phone lady to get me kicked out, now they're in trouble with other things that are going on. So it's like, now other people are fighting over something that happened. And one thing I believe, karma will bite everybody. Karma, you got good karma and bad karma. And karma's coming around on them. And I, and one thing I'm learning with Buddhism is, is I struggle with, and I don't know if it's going to take time, is forgiving the people that hurt you. And I'm learning, I'm getting better with it, but it takes practice. It's not something you do overnight. It takes practice. I'm getting better with it, but... <clears throat> and one thing I'm learning, I can only handle with... Well, control my mind or well not control it but basically be calm in my mind what's going on around me I have no control over it I only have control over how I handle it and I'm getting really better with it but sometimes if you can be sad for no reason you can be happy for no reason and like today I'm sad I'm trying to be happy it's like if I can be sad for no reason I can be happy for no reason but it's like trying to be happy is I'm getting it I'm getting there but it's like Mm. One thing I learned It's life of life's terms And uh I had a good day I'm cleaning Organizing I gotta take a garbage For the rain starts It's late at night Late in the morning Actually it's morning It's gonna start raining Like I said This is I'm up Sleep during the day And up at night It's a lot easier For me Less drama I'm out of the drama If I sleep during the day And up at night you don't have too many people that come out and discuss stragglers. There's a lot of chaotic stuff here going on. And I have nothing to do with it. So everybody is fighting because something happened. It's their karma coming back at them. I'm learning basically to just go with the flow do what I gotta do and deal it deal with it better in my mind just like they say in basically Buddhist and Stoic philosophy you can't control the outcome you can only control how you handle it and that's what I'm learning I've come a long way and I've it's been two years I've gotten really better and I don't worry about and one thing I'm learning is basically no attachments to your emotions, your feelings, anything. Because they change like the wind. I've gotten better with that. Like, I was sad. Just let it go because eventually I'll be happy again. So, I'm learning non attachments to anything. I'm learning that it's a struggle, but I'm learning that. Just let it go. And one thing I've gotten better with is challenging my thoughts. If I don't like the thought or I do like the thought, I'll challenge it. And one thing I'm learning with Buddhism and philosophy and all that, just challenge your thoughts. And sometimes don't even feed into the thoughts, too. It's pretty much the same thing. And sometimes we're prisoners in our own head. Reality, our head's worse than reality, our brain's worse than reality sometimes. Because we create things that don't even exist in our brains, in reality in our brains. So we make things worse in our brain than what's actually happening. That's what I'm learning. That's why I'm learning challenge thoughts. Be mindful, and mindful, mindfulness helps too. What I gotta get better at is mindful eating. I eat too quick, too quick. I've gotten better with mindful eating, but it's taking time. And here comes the rain. But being mindfulness helps in everything. I have gotten a lot better with that. Being mindful. 
And one thing, there's a book I read, I like it. I'm going to listen to it again, is The Courage to Be Disliked, because everybody likes dislikes other people. There's so many people in the world, not everybody can like the same person. So I'm learning basically, just go with the flow, because everything changes quickly anyway. And one thing, the best thing that happened was my brother didn't get my car fixed right away. So I had to learn different ways to deal with reality. So I used to just jump in my car, take off and go and drive for hours. Now I can't do that. So I have to learn other ways to deal with reality. And that's where Buddhist, Stoic philosophy, positive, positive audiobooks come in play. So they taught me how to deal with reality without jumping in the car and taking off. So my brother helps me a lot. He's helped me fix my car, get my car fixed a few times. Right now the money's tight, so I'm trying to save money to get money. Stop spending money and I'm learning to live just below my knees. What I get, what I need, but that is it. Nothing else. And I'm learning I can do it. You don't need much. Because there's, if you... If I focus on the non-attachments, there's not much I need because non-attachments. Yeah, the rain's coming. But I'm learning non-attachments with anything, so that's helping a lot too. Getting better with non-attachments. And a clean, clean space is a clean mind. Because you're not frustrated, so I keep my apartment looking good so I don't get frustrated in my brain. Because it's not clean. Like, now I get to get the garbage, but it's supposed to rain hard, so I might wait until tomorrow. But I keep it looking pretty reasonable, so it keeps my mind clean. Too much clutter is not good. And focusing, or not focusing, but learning non-attachments, that's helping me a lot, too. I've come a long way. And when you know you're getting better is when you can see you're getting better. Once you start seeing yourself getting better, you know you're getting better. And sometimes one problem we have is we can't see ourselves getting better. And I couldn't for the longest time, now I can. And I'm grateful for what I've been through because I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm learning nobody's, I'm learning not to be in a victim mode. I'm learning it's a life description. We all have a life description. We got to go through life the best as we can. And some people deal with it better than others. And I'm getting better dealing with life. And one thing I'm learning, everything we go, go through is a lesson. We gotta learn, choose to take everything we go through as a lesson to get better. And learn what to do and help other people out through our journey. And I've gotten better with that. But the one book that really helped was Mind Hacking Happiness. That's actually helped a lot. Mind Hacking Happiness. I got to get the second version. So I got the first version. So I got to get the second version. Mind Hacking Happiness. I know nobody's going to watch this video. Nobody really watches them. But sometimes it's just for me. So I can look back to see where I was or where I came from. Because I've watched some of my older videos. I was like, wow, I've come a long way. And sometimes there's people that watch them. They get some likes. So I'm like, well, there's a couple of likes. So help somebody get better. And sometimes that's why I do this. If one person likes it, at least somebody got something out of it. 